Good morning, um, Christ is among us. Today is the feast day of my, our youngest daughter, um, Eden Elizabeth, and we named her for St. Elizabeth, mother of St. John of the Desert, St. John the Forerunner, St. John the Baptist, uh, however you prefer to refer to him, he has a lot of names. Um, but as many of you may know, we actually lost Eden to miscarriage at about 11 weeks along um, earlier this year. And it was really up there with the hardest things that have ever happened to us. Um, and we're still mourning her and we still miss her. Um, but one of the blessings, and um, I say this because a lot of women don't get this opportunity, um, that miscarriage is sudden, but in the way that um, Eden passed, we were able to actually collect her body and um, bury her. So we have a plot for her at the cemetery where someday, uh, God willing, we will also be buried. And um, one of the most healing things that we've been able to do is to go to the cemetery and just um, be present there with her, um, ask her to pray for us. Uh, pray for her soul as well. Um, and I love that her saint is Elizabeth because uh, Elizabeth is, of course, most known for the singing when Mary comes to visit her and their babes leapt in their womb. And I think that just that story validates the humanity of children from the moment of conception that Jesus and John recognized each other in the womb. Um, and of course, they're extraordinary God and a, and, uh, a saint. But um, that humanity that existed in the womb. And so I think it's a perfect uh, name saint for our baby that we lost uh, in the womb. And um, I can't wait to see her again someday in heaven. Uh, but we're gonna go have a picnic and uh, have a little bit of fun. So check it out. My girls made a friend a while ago at the cemetery. This man, he comes and he visits his wife and daughter who he has buried here. And I think it's so cool. Our girls have a relationship with him now. He gives them little candies sometimes and they colored him pictures today. some peanut butter sticky balls that are in uh, memory of Saint Zechariah, um, Elizabeth's husband. Uh, so we made a batch to share <laughs> at our picnic. Back home now, we had such a nice time at the cemetery today. Um, hopefully you guys are seeing that with the name days, it doesn't have to be elaborate or um, you know, a craft like I like to do or whatever. It can be an activity. It can be just something that you do to spend time as a family um, and just remember the day and, uh, you know, read about the saints, tell the stories so that our kids grow up with this love of the saints um, and are inspired by these uh, great role models of holiness that we have. So, uh, St. Elizabeth, pray for us.